TerraDepth was founded to create better, faster decision making in the ocean. We started the company in 2018, and the reason that we started the company was we really saw an opportunity to influence the way that humans made good decisions in a domain that we really understand very little about, which is the ocean. We help people make more sustainable choices from ocean data creation to ocean data consumption. The potential consequences of lacking ocean data are gigantic. So at a fundamental level, it means we don't understand our planet. With better data on scale, humans will make better decisions faster in a more sustainable way. So TerraDepth is a emerging, growing startup company focused on one of the more compelling opportunities in the ocean ecosystem, which is scaling and democratizing access to ocean data, including both collection of the data, manipulation of the data, and presentation of the data. It's really taking what we've all become used to in our day-to-day -day lives via smartphones and search engines, translating those concepts into the ocean environment, which is really behind the curve in that kind of accelerating technology. If you think about the ocean, right? Ocean data is often out of sight, out of mind. Even if you live on the beach, you see the ocean, but you look at it and you understand it perhaps as a flat expanse or sometimes a wavy expanse, but you really have no idea what's going on under there. It's easy to look at a map and say, three quarters of our planet surface area is water. And then you start to think about things like biomass and how much of the volume of living things on our planet are in the ocean. And then you think about all the things we need. We need to transport goods. We need protein. The vast quantities of what we eat comes from the sea. We have climate drivers. All of these things, everything in your day to day, even here in Austin, Texas, far removed from the ocean, the ocean is shaping our life on a daily basis. We need data to understand that ocean and the rest of the planet and make wise decisions about all manner of applications and end uses. We're conducting a lot of activities in the ocean as well on the commercial side from an offshore energy perspective, from a marine mining perspective. And as we drill and we extract resources, as we anticipate mining, if we don't have a good understanding of the ocean, how do we know what we're doing is harming the planet, is not harming the planet? And really we're focused on creating massive amounts of ocean data in a very scalable way that's fast, clean, and green and we're focused on radically improving the user experience with that data. So the core pillars at Teradev, we've got three of them. One is we created a cloud-based data solution that makes it really easy for people to visualize, ingest, download, share, or keep private ocean data no matter, no matter where it comes from. The second pillar is an operational aspect. We conduct operations at sea with ocean-going robots to get data faster, better, cleaner, because we operate those robots in a unique way. And the third pillar is one essentially centered around massively scaling ocean data collection capability, which is one of a robotic autonomy nature. So we focus really heavily on onboard data processing, making robots smarter, and autonomous energy recharge, which is how a robot can recharge its batteries, because we have to run on batteries when we're underwater without a person touching it. So we've done a lot of work on patenting an air-breathing hydrogen fuel cell and a diesel-electric generator that can do the same. This is where we design and build and repair our autonomous underwater vehicles. We have a large displacement, long-duration autonomous vehicle, and five commercial subs that we bought to do surveys with. So this is a, a engine that was developed for TerraDepth, and it's a what we call a heavy fuel engine. So it is, uh, works on a diesel-like fuel. Once the engine starts, then it, this produces power. So it's called an integrated starter generator. And uh, this engine provides the same power as an engine, as a standard engine of a much larger size. So, so this is part of our development to make our power package smaller, lighter, and more efficient. The Abraham vehicle is a flooded vehicle which means that water is allowed to go inside the vehicle. And so for electronics, we have to protect that from the ocean environment, keep it safe and dry. And the way we do that is we put them inside containers like this, which are thick walled containers rated to uh, at least a thousand meters in depth. And these ones we are reviewing right now, going over their design, making some tweaks and improvements as necessary. Abraham, our large displacement autonomous underwater vehicle 
as a unique method of uh, transportation and being deployed in the water. So we've built an undercarriage here and the way we deploy it is to roll it onto a trailer and then take it to a normal boat ramp. This allows us to go to a lot more places. Not every place has a crane, but almost every place, uh, port for example, or lake has a boat ramp. What I see as a, sort of an outside advisor is that TerraDepth, by raising the profile of this question of ocean data, the need for it, the need to curate it and collect it and convey it, is helping the entire global ocean tech ecosystem think different. I am firmly convinced that the future in maritime technology is going to involve a consolidation of geospatial domains. So what I mean by that is you're going to see this geospatial fusion from seabed to space, and we're gonna have a consolidated understanding of what the Earth looks like is from a very quantitative perspective by that fusion. So for those who care about the ocean, global stakeholder base, ocean titans and beyond, key word here is partner, partner, partner. The ocean ecosystem is tremendously large. The ocean economy is massive. The challenges are equally large and complicated. We're only going to address these sustainable development goals, economic development goals, and societal needs if we collaborate. So it's really, really important that anybody who's interested raise their hand, drop a phone call, reach out, get acquainted, and start participating in a, in a very vibrant community.